Hey guys, welcome back to Thundum Club. Today we're unboxing the Mighty Strike Freedom Gundam. If you guys know, in our childhood, it definitely consists of some Gundam in my culture, and we actually did maybe two or three videos on Gundam. And if you guys know lately, the Gundam Seed Freedom movie came out, and let me tell you, it's a really good memory, although the plot might be a little bit... It's in the middle, but it's not bad. And today I'm trying to build the HG1-144 to Mighty Strike Freedom Gundam. So I got this from Amazon and the box didn't came with the box so it just came like this with the shipping label on top. I have to try really hard not to rip the box surface but you can see like all the box are damaged, all the corners. So that's pretty sad. On the side we got seat action system which is like I guess a good joint motion. We got some pictures which are really cool. The signature pose right here. On the side, we got another picture. On the back, we got the Gundam itself. I feel like it's a little bit too short compared to the movie. And there's the movie poster and the story. Yeah, let's open up and yeah, let's open up and see what's inside. So inside, we can already see the shield, some stickers, some panels. This is for the new backpack, and then we got the instruction manual. We got Kira right here. We got. Strike Freedom and doesn't look too bad. I have some experience of building Gundam, so it doesn't sound too hard. Proud Defender, and yeah. So let me put this Gundam together and then we'll go back from there. Here we have the Mighty Strike Freedom Gundam from the Gundam Seed Freedom movie. I feel like I'm saying Seed Freedom a lot. The building is quite simple. It took me around three hours to build without doing any panel lining. Let's look at the articulation of the Gundam. The head itself can be rotated 360 sideways and you can also tilt the head backward and forward. You can also push the head a little bit forward for supposedly some kind of harder posing. The shoulder pad itself allows you to flip around 45 degree upward and the whole arm itself can be spin 360 based on a little ball joint. You can also push it a little bit forward and backward and extend it outward because of this little contraption in here. I haven't been playing much new Gunpla in the last few years, but this is something new for me. The arm itself can be flipped upward by 90 degree, and then the elbow itself can be twisted almost 180. The side flap and the wrist itself can be tilted a bit outward, and the wrist can be spin 360 degree. The waist itself can be tilted forward and backward, but because of there's no PC soft plastic joint, the twisting is a little bit hard. The waist itself can also be spin 360 degree to perform some kind of motion. The rail gun is okay, it's just like the normal strike freedom that can be pushed forward and backward and extension. The leg itself can be twisted 360 on the upper joint and you can also flip the leg outward by 90 degree and also forward by 90. But the back movement is hindered by the back skirt. The knee itself can be twisted around 180 backward to perform some kind of movement, but the thick lower leg is a little bit hindering the movement. The back flap fans are able to twist a little bit. The feet itself is okay, you can flip the front feet downward, and the feet itself can also be twisted for around a 60 degree angle, but you cannot spin it sideways. Some simple motion can be done for some simple posing. In general, because of Strike Freedom's design, it's definitely not the most flexible, and also the skirt is very long, but you can still do a lot of movement on it. The weapon that came with it is just two beam rifle. Also, one shield just like from the older Strike Freedom and other Seed Destiny mobile suits. There's two lightsaber. The lightsaber latches on the side of the skirt of the railgun. The beam rifle also attaches to the side skirt, just like the old Seed Freedom Gundam. It's very simple to put the beam rifle on two hands, and now you have a Strike Freedom Gundam without a backpack holding two guns. It looks pretty cool already. I would really like to put on the old backpack, but I don't have a Strike Freedom on my own. But some simple posing can be done just with the two guns. The beam rifle itself is just like the original Strike Freedom Gundam. You can put them together as one long rifle gun. Pushing the front handle up, you will get this really long gun. And it looks really cool with the old backpack. I'm very looking forward to seeing the new backpack working with it. But overall, it's still very cool and full of memory. 
For the hand itself, you can take off this red piece right here and put on the beam shield and that gives the strike freedom shield just like it always is. I feel like the material for the plastic is a little bit different and it looks really nice. It gives a really cool shiny finish to it and I like it a lot. You can do some simple posing with like just a beam saber and also holding multiple weapons. Finally, we got the Proud Defender which is the main show here. Proud Defender is the newer backpack for Strike Freedom Gundam to transform it into Mighty Strike Freedom Gundam. This is a really cool backpack overall, but it's a plane with like bird wings and a blade. It looks a little bit not so put together well. In the movie itself, this is like a backpack developed for Strike Freedom Gundam. The wing itself can be moved pretty freely, but not the back. It also comes with this blade, Futuno Mitama. It really reminds me of Astray Gundam. To simply transform this backpack into the way it looks in the movie, you can pull these off and it exposes the stickers inside that is light reflective and also pink. There's also a little hinge here for the middle gold part for the backpack wing. Finally, you can also expose the pink part just like how we did for the backpack back part. With that, you can just slide in this backpack into the back of the Strike Freedom Gundam and that combines into the final form in the movie Seed Freedom Mighty Strike Freedom Gundam. Without exposing the wing into the complete form, it looks like just a big triangle at the back of Strike Freedom Gundam. But once you expose everything, it looks really nice. I generally think it looks cooler than the original Super Dragon backpack without the light particles attachment. It gives Strike Freedom a really sleek and also new design that combines the power of Kira and also Lacus. Overall, this is a really cool design and I really dig how it comes out. It combines the feature of Lacus, which is pink and white and also combines Strike Freedom into this whole white design. By putting on the shield, one lightsaber and also the new blade itself, you'll be able to finally complete the most most commercially spreading design where Mighty Strike Freedom just hold two blade and then the shield. In general, this pose looks really cool and I think it really reminds me of actually Star Build Strike uh, from the Build Fighter series. But overall, this is a really enjoyable build and doesn't take too much time for a person like me that hasn't built Gunpla in almost 10 to 5 years. Hope you guys like this review and see you next time.